So yes, we've got the engine all kind of installed on its mount, seat mounted there and everything. Also got the uh, the drag link for the shifter. It's all kind of attached. The whole thing's kind of ready just to drop back into the chassis. But one thing I want to do before I put it in is just check these uh, valve clearances. Right, so you want to do two things here. First, you want to undo the lock nut, nine millimeter spanner, and then the little square drive here, uh, you can slacken and adjust in it there. There probably is some kind of proper tool for it. I don't have it. Uh, the last time I did it, I actually used a, a spoke key for building bicycle wheels with, but I can't even find that yet. So I just got a little adjustable spanner here, and that will do the job there. I want to get this gap down to three thou. Um, it, I tested it there. I couldn't even get a two thou feeler in there. So what's happened is with all the kind of reciprocating action there, the valve has sat back into its seat and shorten the gap so there is still a little bit of a gap it's probably about a thigh but it needs to be a bit more open so uh, what we're going to do is adjust this now so this is going to be three thigh here four thigh on the bottom adjust it tighten it all back up again button it all back together fuck it in the bastard i've got a three thigh gauge there just going to put it in the gap between the tappet screw and the top of the uh, valve stem Turn it in by hand. I want to be able to slide this in and out and no more. It's kind of just pinching it there. That's it. Proper. Right about there. What I need to do now is stop this little screw from moving as I tighten up the lock nut. So I hold it with this and pinch the lock, the lock nut up. I would do that tight because you don't want that shit bouncing around inside the engine if it comes loose. Take them away. The gauge still works. Hasn't tightened up any. Spot on the money. We just put the cap on it. 100%.